British artist Banksy achieved his fame and glory all while being anonymous. And when nobody's looking, he's known to spray paint his famous works of art all over buildings that he feels inspired by. Banksy's themes spoke out against commercialism, and he's even told some people not to spend money on art. Those are some fine words from somebody whose famous work sold at a Sotheby's auction for $1.4 million. So lo and behold, in 2018, another one of Banksy's famous works of art that featured a little girl with a red balloon went under the hammer at another Sotheby's auction, and it fetched a lot, a lot of money. So that was the second painting of his that fetched over a million dollars. And the second the auction concluded, the unthinkable happened. A very confused crowd watched as the painting began to lower itself into a hidden contained shredder and it began to destroy itself. And Banksy fully admitted that he was the one responsible for the painting's self-destruction because he felt that to destroy is also a creative verge. Hmm. And of course, Sotheby's had no idea that Banksy had this all planned out, so they couldn't be too upset and neither could the buyer. And as it turns out, that painting ended up being worth almost double what it was when it fetched $1.4 million at the auction. Now, fast forward to March 2023. The setting is a little British seaside town, and the place is a farmhouse. So then Banksy finishes this work of art, right? And a construction worker, who has no idea who Banksy is, sees this work of art on the back of this farmhouse and thinks it's graffiti. What does the construction worker do? Well, he starts dismantling and destroying the building. And this time, Banksy can honestly say that he had no part in the destruction of his latest work of art. So the owner of Black Soul's farm said that he had hired general contractor by the name of George Caldwell to dismantle it, and when he realized that the work of art wasn't graffiti, he felt terrible. And that, my friends, is the conclusion of episode 11 of Fun Auction Facts. It's your girl Jess here with AllAroundAuctions.com. I want to first thank you for watching the video. Next, if you could just do me a tiny, teeny little favor and hit that like button, follow and subscribe if you haven't already, and if you hit the notification bell, you'll receive alerts when we post any new content. It's your girl Jess, and I'll see you in next week's episode of Fun Auction Facts. Bye! Bye.